this is this is the last spell. It is it is about the end of the world. The story of this is that basically a, a wizard came up with the ultimate spell and the idea was that the ultimate spell it was basically a nuke and it was so destructive that surely it would put an end to war, right? And he used it once as a threat, wiped out a town. And what happened, of course, because we all know our history, we all know, we all know what happened when the bomb was invented. Everyone scrabbled to get their own and everyone has, uh, you know, everyone developed essentially nuclear wizards. And those nuclear wizards all went off and cause this great mist and this sort of roiling zombie undead. And the mist is encroaching on the town of Lakeburg here, where a group of arch mages are meeting to perform a ritual to cast the last spell in the world. Basically, they are casting a spell to end all magic, to erase the magical mists, to essentially remove magic from the world in order to save the world. Uh, but obviously the mists do not want that. So you've got to defend the wizards while they're casting the spell, because it takes weeks and weeks to cast the spell, uh, from the oncoming horde. So it has elements of tower defense and it has elements of turn-based strategy. So as I say, I've played this uh, through the tutorial, I've played it once, so I've unlocked one boon already, because you get boons every time you die. And we've got standard difficulty or easy mode, okay? Um, but they've added some optional gameplay modes to tailor the difficulty, right? But they do recommend you try it with medium, because... Um, the idea is, of course, every time you every time you fail, you get slightly stronger. So it's you know it's classic roguelike uh, sort of mechanics there. Well, not classic roguelike. Classic roguelike would be ASCII and top down, and it would actually be you know an RPG, not not this, but um, a classic roguelite mechanic. So here's our wizards. As you can see, they are um, they're doing some they're doing some magic, right? This is our town. It looks pretty shit. The enemies are going to be coming from up here. You know, most of the world is dead now. This is this really is the the last gasp of of humanity. We have three heroes. We have Martius. I wonder if we can rename them actually. That'd be good. Curcio and Zena. Now I didn't have these heroes last time. It's all randomized. Uh, although I think I had this set of classes. Yeah, I recognize these attacks. So all the attacks are very positional based, and I'll show you, it's going to be easiest to show with Marcia, Martius here. Um, which one is it? There's, there's definitely, is it Blade Rush? Yeah, there's one that moves you through people so that you have to sort of set up a checkerboard and start taking them like checkers pieces. I, I think it's that one. <laughs> we'll, we'll show you when we get into combat. So, because uh, this guy's going to be our tank, we are going to put him up at the front. Zena is our mage, so the mage is going to be somewhat near the back. And Curcio is a ranger, so he's also going to be somewhat near the back as well. And we'll face the oncoming hordes, and there will be a lot of them. There will be a lot of them. So you get deployment phase, you get building phase, and you get the attack phase. So later on, we'll get a building phase where we can start to, you know, put down uh, resource generators. We can start to put down walls and traps and that sort of thing. Uh, here we go, character sheet. So character details. Curcio is a jester, um, which means he takes he deals slightly more damage but has worse armor and resistance trained though which means he's more likely to uh not miss and chubby which means his, his health is higher but his move points are reduced can we can we name him it'd be great if we could can we no Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe that's something they'll add later. It, it, it is early access, I, I, I should add. This is early access and they have already done at least one patch in the interim. Maybe we'll find a button that lets us do that later as well. We also get perks as they level up and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't think we can name them, but there are a lot of buttons. I think it needs a little work on the UI because there's so much going on uh, and there's a lot of ways to get to the same buttons but yeah um it, it's still pretty good though i think i think the ui is quite nice so martius yeah this is our this is our tank was a farmer so much better at physical is very versatile so then you know a generalist so so helps make up for some of the farmer uh debuffs and thin skin so lower resistance that's not great for a tank this is not gonna go quite so well and then look at all these fucking stats you get this this is a proper crunchy complex game honestly um but yeah we, we, let's go let's uh let's go we've deployed here come the enemies christ that was a bit loud i'll turn that touch down <laughs> Hang on. They're coming in and they're beating up bits of wall. We're going to go first with Martius. Now, you can choose who goes 
Um, it, it, like, it's not done in order. They, they all go at the same time. So we might actually want to start thinning the herd with the rangers before we send in uh, Martius. So, Curcio. Curcio, Curcio, Curcio. We have two things. We have mana and we have action points. Your action points are... They, they recover at the end of every turn. Mana does not. So only use those in emergencies. So we're going to do a power shot. Uh, high chance of dodging that one. Okay, well, let's move one because we've got to move move points as well. They're separate, so we don't have to we don't have to waste. Oh, that worked. Nice, good, precise shot. I should have done a power shot. That's why we were moving. There we go. And this is only this is only round one, so it's quite quite easy. Uh, we have got enough points to do a power shot. Let's try it. Oh, that worked. And we'll do a precise shot at the back. Very nice. Took out some of its armor. And then we'll use our remaining movement to jump backwards. And we can jump over the wall as well if we need to. So that's all of the, well, that's all the actions done for that one. So we'll go over to Zayna. Zayna's our mage. Uh, only one thing that actually requires mana, though, and that is magic missile. Magic missile's, you know, classic spell. Uh, but we're going to hop forwards. Uh, I, I keep right clicking. That's that's on me. We're going to hop forward too, uh, so that things are going to be in range. And then we'll drop the Sword of Damocles. We can also use. So the interesting thing is transfer uh, regenerates uh, action points and move points on someone nearby. So we can actually give extra extra abilities to people, which is nice. But we are going to just drop the Sword of Damocles. Now, one thing I would like to see on here is a rough estimate of how much of the health bar would be gone if we use this because it doesn't actually show that but we'll do it on this one which does a fair bit of damage you know we did about 70 70 damage there and we'll drop it again another dead now these are all easy to kill but the problem is is there's actually quite a lot of them <laughs> so this is gonna this is gonna become a big fucking problem pretty soon i kind of i might just let them approach a little bit first before sending martius in because if i send martius in too close martius will just get absolutely destroyed sword of damocles on whatever this thing is claw mm, grim a good bit of damage six, 61 damage and the last one sword of damocles take that one out okay and then we'll move back i right clicked again that's on me so when we hover over them we can see how far they're gonna move Move, so we've got to be careful. We've got eight movement points though. Can we hop in, hit one, and hop out? Five, six, seven. Ooh, we'll be just in range. It's. Mm, I'm gonna hold there. I'm gonna hold there. I'm gonna uh, end turn, let them approach. Yeah, four action points remaining. One here, I didn't move. Yep, yeah, nope, we're good. <laughs> Shit. All right, mate. Wait, why are you looking? Those two are turned around that way. Okay, so now we have a bit more of a problem. As I told you, there are a lot of them. Okay. Um. So slice has momentum which does bonus damage per tile travel so if i run into them and then use slice i'll do more damage dash comparatively is a maneuver but i think i, I need to be behind them for it or blade rush i think will jump me all the way back here so let's try that okay we took them took two of them out you see and, and as i say it gets a bit almost like checkers there's a lot of position in it and because we've moved extra slice will now do extra damage but i don't think we want to i think we want to dash go through it like that and then we've got eight move points left so i think we're gonna run to here we need to use slice doing some extra damage and then i think we just need to fucking book it back <laughs> so you see that that worked pretty well um all told and we took out a few of them but you can see there are a lot of them a lot of them but killing them we gain essence which we can spend later on but we also want to keep the, the city's panic level low so if walls start breaking the city starts to panic and if the city starts to panic then we get fewer and fewer resources from them right i think we do a power shot what's their dot eight percent zero percent on this armored one so a power shot on them out of range so we're going to move forwards power shot it's a, it's a good idea because they basically can't dot uh position wise they're not really tightly grouped enough for a tight volley rain of arrows is an interesting one because look there's actually little gaps in the middle so because I, I can't get that one and that one at the same time with the rain of arrows it's neat neat like that oh that could work oh right, we're gonna do a precise shot on the chlora Okay, and another one. The precise shot, I think, auto hits. Yeah, no dodge. Absolutely, absolutely fine. But this one is inaccurate, so it increases the target's dodge. But their dodge chance was 3%, so let's try it again, because I, I genuinely don't... It can't happen again. There we go. And then we've got this Chlora here, but we're out of action points. So... Hop behind this wall, please. All right. Last and certainly not least, we have our mage with the Sword of Damocles. Head up there. I keep using right-click to move. Uh, 
we'll take that one out because they're the closest. Yeah, none of them are going to get close enough to cause any damage, but we will have to start worrying about them soon. Can we sort of Damocles anyone? No. Sort of Damocles? Yes. Boom. <laughs> Lovely. This is mainly a support class, which is why it's not doing as much damage. And we'll move you back and end turn. Okay, we're all right so far. They're not within the city yet, and they've not damaged any buildings. But we we better we better we better make sure that they don't. Oof, that's a long line. That's free long. Hang on, hang on. Blade rush. Maximum targets are free, so we could go all the way back there. Blade rush. Yeet. Yeah, not bad. And then dash. How many movement points have we got? That's worrisome. So there. Uh, what if we dash that way, actually? All right. And then move. Okay. So now we need to we need to bring this this guy home. Okay. We need to we need to Matt Damon him. So we can do transfer. And we've given him some actions. We've got two more movement now, which will just get us out of the range. I don't know. We might want to do a second one just to just to be sure. Unless we can take out one, two, three. Yeah, we've got to take out three of them. Okay, I think we can do that. Yeah, let's uh, let's start with our archer. Let's start with Curio here. Power shot on this. Don't miss. There we go. Hasta la mister. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sold already on the on the lines. What, what's a uh, dodge chance of 2%? It's going to be about 4%. Should be all right. Oh, out of range. Oh, out of range again. We've got a better chance like that, but not necessarily going to kill it unless we get a crit. We didn't. Oh no. Now now we've got now we've got the ranger at risk. Didn't think this through. Didn't think this through. Okay. All right. Let's bring out some mana. Okay, that works. That works. And then Sword of Damocles. Yes. There we go. Murders for all. Magic missile's great. We'll get you in a bit closer, actually. Yeah, none of them can now reach us, which is great. But we need to defend these walls as well. 39 remaining enemies. 39 remaining enemies. It's not an easy it's not an easy game. Mm. I also annoyingly can't remember what upgrade I unlocked for myself. So Curio's got two more attacks. So I guess we'll start working into this, I think. Rain of arrows will do decently. Oh, that's not bad. It's at long range, though. There's a chance they'll dodge it. Oh. <laughs> it will reduce their ability to move, though. Just spread them out a bit. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Hit all of them. <laughs> yeah, that works. We can pop evasion, which I, I didn't realize might that might actually help in the future. Because we've still got one action point, apparently. Um, which we, we, we can't do anything, so we'll just have to hold. Oh, they're attacking the walls. My walls. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Right. A lot of them here. A lot of them here. Um who's who's the biggest threat? Is it these two? Well, ah, uh, invalid maneuver because we can't get to the other side. So we're gonna have the blade rush. We're gonna run out of our mana at this rate. Uh and slash and slash. Because we move through it if we manage it. Oh, we didn't manage it. So let's donate some movement back to Martius. Now, slash, and then back to here so that you're out of the way. I guess we could start taking them out again. Another tight volley. Save us a lot. That helps. Okay, and how many more attacks? Two more attacks. We can do two precise shots there. Do that. And then let's move you back. Okay, and our mage. We need to kill you and you, preferably all of these as well. <laughs> Go to Damocles. Could do with some crits. Sort of Damocles. Uh, only one more hit. Sort of Damocles. And move. All right. And turn. All right. You are going to be able to strike this. Yes. Oh, dodged it. That was that was foolish of, my, of myself. All right. Volley on him. All right. Good. Softened them up. All right, this is gonna. This is actually gonna be exceptional. Watch this. Boom. Okay. One. Then blade rush. Beautiful. <laughs> Boy, these are squishy. Maybe it's time to bring out magic missile. Clear some of these out. How does magic missile require line of sight? Okay, that's done some damage. Um, and then sort of Damocles to finish them off. Okay, 19 left. 19 left. Oh my God, they're getting hit. Armor's down already. That's not good. Can't dash through. Mm hmm. Do that, but that's not a very good maneuver for us. Okay. 
Okay. What does punch do? Deals 200% damage against armor. Okay. Pun. Alright, that worked okay, I guess. Okay. Ah, oh, damn, that's that's used all of our abilities. I was hoping I was hoping we'd get more. Uh can we do a volley like that? Yeah, just get all the arrows around him. Lovely. Okay. Power shot. Kill him. Oh, almost. Finish him off. How are these walls doing? Hmm, can't seem to tell. Oh, uh, not much. Sort of Damocles. We'll just clear them out a little bit because we've got a bit of space. Boom. Sort of Damocles. Coming down to 12 now. That's going to be a bit easier. I think I need to clear a gap at the back here and then let just zip through them all. Uh, we are going to move you back though, mate. Get you a bit of, a bit of defense so that you're not immediately destroyed by all of these. Oh, they're going after the walls. My walls. Okay. Archers, archers, arch, archers, arch, archers. Tight volley. Mm. Can I rotate? Is there a rotate button? Like, I feel like this has rotated before, so hmm. there might be. I just might be missing it. Okay. Power shot. Requires line of sight. Of course it does. Dead. Power shot. Dead. Ranged shoddy. Oh. Ranged shoddy. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, one more one more attack. Best. It's the best option. They're all in the line, so that's kind of convenient for me. Go with that one. No. That one? No. That one. No. Okay. Over to Marius. Hop here. Right. Now I want you to dash like that. Then a line of them like that. Then dash. One hop. Uh -huh, and you're out of power. Of course. But four enemies left. We're doing it. Transfer some power. Zip. Then we're going to take these two out and this last one. Transfer again. And then one more, one more. No, we must sort of Damocles. We're out of transfer. All right, sort of Damocles. Sort of Damocles. Move you back out the way as well. All right, we're ready to go. <laughs> All right, move up, get the momentum, slash. Done it. We've been Helen back. That was close. Another night survived. And we've gained some experience. And we've hit level two. S ranked it. S ranked it. You'll see that. You see that, kids? I can play the games. I can play the games.